Good morning or good afternoon, fellow YouTubers. I'm coming back to you with part two of my trading guide. Basically, what we're going to cover in this guide is going to be crafting your own trade goods and nodes that are over 120% market price. So right now, on the server I'm on, we're going to go to trade. You want to check market price. It only spends one energy. And basically, I don't check every single item. I just check to find the node. When we scroll on down here, we see right here Bartilli Farm is 132%. Any node that is in this list that is over 120, you want to go to. Because if you purchase something, for example, when you look at the Bartilli Odd Adventure, it's 90% market price. I take it over to Bartilli Farm, I'm getting 132 back. So, and it, one of the biggest things is if you came across a node that's going from like Valia all the way out to Alta Nova and Alta Nova was 200% and you're taking stuff over there that not many people trade you are getting maximum price of 200% plus the distance bonus plus the bargaining if you bargain successfully that right there is a lot of money especially if the profit on excuse me a lot of the items are high like if I spent 4k on something and I took it all the way out there and now I'm getting 8k back that's 4k in profit per item anyways guys that is the 200% uh, 120% or more node the next thing I'm gonna talk about is let me get, get this guy going to the next spot is inside Valia there is workshops for example but they're in all towns but if we look at Valia, uh, I mean not Valia, 5-1 here, I got a mineral workbench going on. These are the trade packs that you can craft using workers. All you need to do is look at the required uh, materials and put it in your storage and have them craft it. This right here is what I'm crafting right now. It's copper ore crate. The best thing about these craftable crates is that they stack. Unlike the stuff that you buy from trade managers, they don't stack. So you can easily carry a bunch of these. You know, especially if you have a high weight limit on your wagon, you can even overweight your wagon. You know, the goal here is to get as much trade per transaction as possible. So I don't have any, only have, well, here we go. We got two right here for my copper ore crate. A minute ago, I didn't have it, so. And then I have Arrow Mushroom Crate, which Valia 5-2 is my mushroom workbench. Basically, you want to look for anything that says workbench that's like fish, like crop, or, you know, the the, um, the ore one, the mineral, sorry, I couldn't think of it for a second there. And mushroom workbench. Basically, you want to find these things that can craft these crates. And then if you can find a node, nope, wrong one. Over here, I got an arrow mushroom node being far harvested right now. So now all I need to do is just crush like rough stone or even crystals that I find while I'm grinding and leveling and get the black stone powder, which is the secondary requirement to make these crates. And then the best part about it is I'll show you, oops, wrong way. I'm going to show you out here in Alta Nova. I got the crop workbench going on, and you see right here I got 17 of these, and the weight on it is only 15. Not a lot, if not any, trade merchandise you get from trade managers have this kind of weight. A lot of them are up in the 30s, the 45s, so you can't carry a lot of them. And if there is any that have low weight, they're probably not a lot of. Um, uh, sorry, mine went blank there. A lot of weight allowed. You can't carry a lot. So this is one of the easiest ways to also boost your leveling experiences. Why you're trading. You got these workers building this merchandise, which all you got to do is have one space open up on your wagon. And I literally just on my merchant wagon had, you know, I only have 800 and I think eight, 810 weight. I can legitly overweighted to like 1100 and still be able to move so that helps out greatly when you're trying to you know do the transactions to each node as many as possible but anyways guys I just wanted to bring that little bit of information to you that I did not cover in the first guide as I find out more information on trading or any other profession as I progress into Black Desert I will come back to you with it anyways guys any questions comments or concerns leave them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you have a good one